It's my favorite time of year, hockey season. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Pucks and Paperbacks, and today I'll be sharing with you my October TBR. Like last year, I'll be doing another reading vlog where I read some horror books. This time they will be queer, so I have a couple lined up that I'll show you. I'm also participating in Black Aween, which was created and is hosted by Brie at Locked Booktition. If you haven't followed her already, please do. She's awesome. I love her videos so much. This is such a fun readathon. There's merch, there's a box you could buy that Brie put together herself and it's so cool. And overall, the objective of the readathon is to read horror and thriller books by Black authors. So I'm going to show you my TBR. I went over to my library and I put a whole TBR together. So let's get started. For the prompt to read a book set in the South, I have picked up Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Crosby. It says, a Black father, a white father, two dead sons, a quest for revenge and redemption. I've heard so many great things about this from Brie herself. I have the audiobook on hold at my library so I'm hoping it comes in and I can read these together. Next is to read a book by an underrated author in either the horror or thriller genre and I am hoping to read Lakewood by Megan Giddings which I also have an audiobook of through Libro FM. I purchased one a while back and I just keep telling myself I'm gonna read this book and then it just never happens. I've been feeling some anxiety and imposter syndrome with TBR videos lately when I post one and then it becomes the end of the month and I haven't read any of the books. I know that's just my anxiety talking to me, but I want to use the word hopefuls. I've seen it around on Bookstagram where people post their monthly TBRs and call it their October hopefuls or September hopefuls. And so I think that's what I'm going to call these for the foreseeable future because if I call it a hopeful, that's that I hope I'll get to it. A TBR, makes me feel like I have to complete this thing when everybody knows that it's just a TBR. It doesn't mean that much, but to me, I overthink it so much. So moving forward, if you see the word hopefuls, that's just what it means. Um, I'll probably just put it in the thumbnail and not the title, but we'll see what happens. For a book recently released, I have a book that I've seen on everybody's TBRs. This is Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. When a black reality TV star is found dead, her estranged half-sister refuses to believe the official story. And this leads her on a dangerous search for the truth. I'm really excited about this. I actually like reading books about reality TV and just like TV shows in general. You know that from my baking vlog. But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. It sounds really good and I'm hoping that I can get to it. And the last prompt I want to complete is to read a book published in the 20th century, and this is Tell No Tales by Eleanor Taylor Bland, and this was another book that Brie recommended. I'm really excited. This is about a couple who goes on a honeymoon, and they find somebody dead, and there is a whole murder mystery. I love murder mysteries, so I'm really excited about this one. And those are just some of the books that I want to read for Black Aween. That's not everything, but I just picked out a few things that I got from the library that I wanted to share with you. Now for the rest of my October library holds. I have my last and final Patreon book club pick and this is The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gold. It is a queer YA ghost story and I'm so excited to read this with my patrons. This month on Patreon I'll be hosting some Patreon only reading sprints. We're also going to be watching Hocus Pocus 1 and 2 on October 8th. I don't know when this video is going up, but we might have already done it by now, but I'm really excited to do that. So you can pledge one dollar to become a patron if you want to join in the fun. Every month we do a watch party and we have been reading queer books throughout the whole month and it's been a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'm also going to be doing it next year. This is just the last month. It's been a bi-monthly book club. So if you have this book on your TBR this month and you want to discuss it with us, it's only a dollar to become a patron and you'll get access to Discord where we do monthly watch parties and I do some events. I'm hoping to do some more as the book club closes and we can just do some reading sprints and some hangouts and stuff. So if you're interested in that, my Patreon link is down below. Patreon helps my channel so much and I would not be able to do all of the fun videos I do without my patrons. So shout out to them. This next book I found on Twitter. The author shared the cover reveal for the sequel to this book and so I checked my library. They had the first book and this is called The Supernatural Society by Rex Ogle and 
there's a hockey stick on the cover. So did that draw me to it? Maybe, but also this just sounds so cool. It's the Supernatural Society. It's the coolest cover and I am really excited to read it. Neil Patrick Harris blurbed it. So if that means anything, I think this is a good one. The back says, warning, this book contains monsters, myths, magic, and mad science. Proceed at your own risk. And if you know one thing about me, I love zombies. Get me any zombie book and I will read that so hard. Like Night of the Mannequins, I loved so much because it had like a monster element. I really like monsters. I don't like vampires or anything like that. Like I literally could care less about that. But give me a zombie and I will eat that up. I will. So I'm really excited to read this one. It is going to be the next thing on my TBR because I'm currently reading like three books at once. I'm still reading the Bear Town series for a vlog and so there's a lot of reading chaos going on over here. <laughs> And the last two books I picked up from the library are The Honeys by Ryan LaSala. I have heard so many great things about this and I believe this also either has a cult or it also has monsters. This is about a group called The Honeys and there's Mars who is gender fluid and I believe his sister dies and is just trying to find out what happened. So he's going to hunt down the honeys and figure out what happened. I heard this is so gory and awesome and I'm so excited for that. I love that. I eat that up. It's awesome. And the last book I picked up from the library is a graphic novel and this is Blackwater. I have seen this around and I will be reading this in my queer horror vlog. We have a lot of monstery books this month and I'm really excited, especially because the buzzword for the buzzwordathon this month is an animal or creature. One of my digital holds from the library is Seeing Ghosts by Cat Chow and so I'm hoping to use that book for that prompt. This graphic novel is Black Water by Jeanette Arayo and Ren Graham and I really don't know too much about this but I saw it on Instagram and I needed a graphic novel that was queer and so I kind of picked the first thing I saw. <laughs> Welcome to the haunted town of Blackwater. Tony Price is a popular high school track star and occasional delinquent aching for his dad's attention and approval. You know I love that. Eli Hirsch is a quiet boy with a chronic autoimmune disorder that has ravaged his health and social life. What happens when these two become unlikely friends and a whole lot more? In the spooky town of Blackwater, Maine. Werewolf curses, unsavory interactions with the quarterback of the football team, a ghostly fisherman haunting the harbor, and tons of high school drama. I am so excited to read this. So if you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss when I post my reading vlog. And to close out the video, I'll just share with you the two books that are my priorities because they're also going to be for the vlog. I have The Many Half-Lived Lives of Sam Sylvester, which I unboxed in my trans book box. I'll have the link above and down below for you. But the book I'm most excited to read this month is Hell Followed With Us by Andrew Joseph White. Audrey from Perpetual Pages did a interview with the author. I'll try and link it down below for you. But after their conversation, I was hooked. I was like, honestly, Andrew, you're my new best friend. I love you and I can't wait to read this book. It is about a trans guy who is just pissed off at the world and he becomes a monster. This is the monster season for me. I am so excited to read this. I'm hoping it'll be the first book I pick up because I'm obsessed. It sounds so good and if you want a trans horror book I'll have a link down below for you to pick it up because let's support our boy. I'm so excited. From what Andrew has said about this book and the way he pitched it he does talk about it being gory, bloody, graphic and it also does talk about religion. So do check the trigger warnings before reading this one because it's graphic but I am so excited to read this. If I'm talking about any hopeful it's this one. I'm hoping to read this and that's why it's going to be for the vlog because then I can force myself to read it. So those are my October hopefuls. Let me know what you're going to be reading this month, what book you're most excited to hear me talk about, if there's like a specific book I talked about in this vlog and you want me to talk about it and you just want to see a reading vlog for it, let me know. I recently posted a reading vlog where I read like Jess Mariano from Gilmore Girls. So if you're a Gilmore Girls fan and you're also team Jess, go and watch that one after this video. Before I go, it's almost the end of the year and so this month I'm going to be doing a book recommendation video but I need your help. This is going to be viewer centric so I'm going to be giving you your own book recommendation. 
and it's called show me a book that blank. I have seen this trend around and I wanted to do it for myself. So if there's any book you're looking for, comment down below, show me a book that has read on the cover or show me a book that has found family or show me a book with a happy ending, something like that. Anything you're looking for and I will do my best to give you a recommendation. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time with another video. Happy spooky season. Happy hockey season. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.